Brown second year linebacker Mac Wilson with the Bull and the Fox. Mac, how you doing? Hope you and your family are staying safe. Sir, I'm doing good. How about you? We're doing pretty well, man. I mean, it's crazy. You know, we're used to going into a studio and being all over the place, and we're all working from our homes. I, I would imagine yeah. from you know you don't you you don't talk for a living you work for a living and and how hard is it for you to get your work in that you'd normally be doing this time of year? Man, it's real hard. You know, just having to go outside and like run around and try to get some type of conditioning in without being in like a gym with you know a group of people and things like that. So I've been trying to keep myself active. Mac, what, what do you do for weights? I mean, you, you doing a lot of a lot of push ups and sit ups and, and body weight exercises, or do you have a gym at your house? Uh, I just like got some weights from um, the gym that I work at down here, and kind of like do some in home stuff. Mm-hmm. We're talking to Mac Wilson Brown, second year linebacker. Mac, you, you come in as a rookie last year, and you have Schobert and you have Kirksey, and now both those guys are gone. Um, you know, the, the Browns d- did sign a veteran linebacker in B.J. Goodson, but, you know, obviously you, d- you didn't play with him last year. What's it – how weird is it, w- will it be, when you guys do get back, to not have Kirksey and Schobert with you? Uh, it's going to be kind of crazy, you know, just building a relationship with those guys, you know, throughout the whole year, having great veterans like those guys who helped me out, you know, throughout the whole season. Even when Kirko went down, he was always in my hip pocket. You know, asking me questions, making sure that I was good. You know, he was somebody who I come came to the sideline after every possession to talk to, and kind of like see some of the he see some of the things that I did wrong, and we try to correct those things on the sideline. You know, as I get ready to go back out for the next possession, Ashoba was just an overall you know great leader, uh, <clears throat> a vocal leader on the field, and you know one of those guys who tried to make sure that I knew what I was doing. You know, every snap. And so that we both can, you know, play fast and feed on one another. Browns linebacker Mac Wilson is with us on the show. Mac, all right, we got to start with this because yesterday was a huge day. Uh, April 15th, the Browns announced the new uniforms going back to old school, uh, which is a classic look. I know you tweeted about this. You think they're fire. Uh, you, you, you haven't got a chance to wear these. I mean, you wore the old, the, the, the most recent ones, which – I don't know if you liked them. We hated them. I'm not sure what you thought about them, but these I think are a classic. I love them. I just the Browns sent me one today too. I, I I'm excited about it. What do you think about the uniforms? I think they're fine. You know, just going yeah. back to the basics. You know, where things are all started. And I feel like it's just a clean look. You know, something simple, not too much. And I feel like everybody likes them. So we're gonna put those things on and just just. Go to work every Sunday uh, this year and just try to you know achieve that goal to you know win a Super Bowl, win our division, and things like that. You know we're just gonna be taking it one. Yeah, you know it's time. funny. Sorry, Mac, to cut you off there. You know you mentioned they're clean, the the, the the uniforms, of course. I mean you played at Alabama. I mean you, some of the most iconic, classic uniforms. You know I mentioned this on my Twitter yesterday. I thought like Penn State, USC, Alabama, these teams that just are classic, traditional uniforms. Now the Browns go back to that. But the most important thing is. You got to get some wins, and you did that at Alabama, <laughs> right? Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it. Like you said, I wore it for for three years at Alabama. You know, just straight tradition, and you know, we didn't have Bama across our chest. We didn't have Crimson Tide across our chest. So it's a simple look. You know, it's gonna look good when you win it. So that, that's right. all that matters. Mm-hmm. We're talking with uh, Browns linebacker Mac Wilson, second year linebacker Mac, second year, and we talked about some changes at linebacker. There's also been changes to the coaching staff. Freddie Kitchens is out. Kevin Stefanski is in. Uh, Joe Woods is the new defensive coordinator. Obviously, you know, I don't know if you've been able to be in person with them. Maybe you did before all this got going. But uh, how much interaction have you had with Coach Stefanski and Coach Woods? And what's your early impression of those guys? I have talked to Coach Stefanski. And, you know, I feel like he's an energetic guy. Uh, Pretty cool, you know. And I feel like, you know, he's a great hire. You know, with uh, Mr. Mr. Haslam and Miss Haslam, you know, did a great job of going to find a find good coaches for our scheme and finding some coaches that, you know, that they're confident in. And I feel like Coach Defense is going to get this thing rolling for us. And like I said, I feel like it was a great hire. And with Coach Woods coming from the 49ers, you know, their defense was very successful. And I feel like, you know, he's going to put guys like me and the rest of my teammates in a position to make plays. And, you know, I just I'm I'm great. I'm fired up about it, and I feel like, like I said, we got we got some great coaches, and I feel like we can do some great things this year. 